Hi, it's Mike Lewis from the Fender Custom Shop. I'm here at the Music Zoo today. We're doing some road shows and uh, we're really looking forward to that. And I got a guitar here that I want to tell you about. This is the 2016 Mid-Year Limited Edition El Diablo Strat. Interesting story behind this guitar. Uh, the first prototype was actually made from spare parts that we found laying around the shop. Uh, just kind of had an idea. Um, and put it together and it sure sounded, it sure came out good and we're, and we're really proud of it. So uh, it was also another opportunity for us to showcase some of our new pickups. Uh, the pickups in this guitar are called the El Diablo pickups, which is kind of what we do. We'll come up with a pickup and then we'll make up a guitar to go around it to showcase the pickups. Uh, there was another video we just did about the Poblano pickups. So these are kind of on that same theme. Uh, one thing I didn't mention about the Poblanos that I should is that um, they are not dipped in wax. They are dipped in what we have called a secret sauce, okay, that uh, does the job of potting the pickup to keep it a uh, microphonic free. However, the sound of it is like it's not potted, very open and big sounding. Uh, typically, when you have pickups that are uh, overwound or even slightly overwound, you're going to lose some of the highs and you're going to get more mid-range. Uh, punch than maybe the, what you want. If that's what you want, that's great. But uh, you know, lots of turns on the pickup plus wax sometimes equals sort of a muted tone. And we wanted you know a hotter tone, but with the open sound of uh, fewer windings. So the El Diablo, it's kind of a combination of a lot of things. It's the El Diablo pickups. They're overwound. They're hotter than the the Poblanos, uh, even though they're not super overwound. Okay. Um, that in combination with this raw aluminum pick guard, uh, it creates a, a, its own sound. Uh, like typically the aluminum pick guards are anodized. There's some extra material on there that tends to make it real clanky sounding. Whereas the raw aluminum uh, is a lot less of that clank. It actually sounds more like uh, what a Telecaster bridge does to the pickup. Just adds a little bit of mass there to the pickup. So it's got a really cool lively tone. And this guitar is also wired with what we call the vintage modified number two with a grease bucket uh, circuit. And the way that works is you got your, of course, your master volume. And you have a tone control here for the neck in the middle and a separate tone control for the bridge, which also has the grease bucket tone, which allows you that when you turn the tone down, you don't lose any of your gain. You don't lose any drive. We'll, we'll demonstrate that in a second. So your neck pickup has got this kind of sound. <laughs> pick up bridge pick up even spankier the real spanky tone uh, the aluminum pick guard is really contributing to that so it's really never one thing, it's the whole thing. Everything combined is what makes the sound. And here we are with the, uh, the um, grease bucket tone control. It's rolling off highs, but we're not losing any gain. Versus the neck pickup tone control which has a 0.1 cap in it, which really scoops out the highs and the lows. You're also losing some volume. Good. So this is a 0.1 cap and a 0.05. What the 0.05 does is it keeps some of the bass and more of the mid-range as you turn it down, so it's got more punch. Great good for a lead pickup. Uh, the El Diablo Stratus also got like a 57 V-shaped neck. It's very, very comfortable. And uh, this particular one is in black. It's a custom color for this model. I think it looks really, really good. Back plate is also raw aluminum. It's a pretty killer guitar. Thanks. <laughs>